A lot of you guys here on Patreon are sick and tired of me talking about politics and how the United States is going down the tubes and all the rest of it. Uh, fair enough, I can understand that, you know, and sometimes I get bored of it. And so here's a video that's on a completely different topic. Now, a lot of you guys here know that my favorite rock band is Rush. I mean, I've been listening to that band for 40 years, for crying out loud. And I still find interesting things in their music, but that's besides the point. I really admire their music. I admire them as musicians. And uh, the drummer and main lyricist, a guy called Neil Peart, well, he was, a, uh, he was a guy I admired very much. And last year, he passed away. Uh, from brain cancer. It was a tragedy. It caught everybody by surprise because he hadn't told a soul about it. Only very few people in his inner circle knew how sick he was. And when all of a sudden it was announced that he had passed away, it just it just really broke my heart. Neil was just a great guy. I mean, he was just smart in so many ways. I mean, perhaps not like the brainiest guy in the world, but he had a lot of common sense. And he was once interviewed, and in the course of the conversations, somebody asked him something, and, and he said that he woke every, every day thinking to himself, what is the most excellent thing that I can do today? And that is a really powerful sentiment. And it's something that I strive to do. I often fail to do it, but every day I strive to think to myself, what is the most excellent thing that I can do today? Well, it's words to live by, and the more I think about it, the more I think that you should apply it to your life. Because like I said, I have tried to apply it to my life. And as of late, as I get older, as I realize that there are fewer days ahead of me than behind me, I'm trying harder and try harder to live by that rule. Because we fritter away so many of our days. We fritter them away on things that are kind of trivial or just fill up the time. And I'm not t talking only about like doing some crappy job that you need just to pay the bills. I mean, at, at least there's a utility in that. You're, you're sacrificing a day so you can get a, a pay in order to continue to exist in the world. Okay, that, that's uh, crappy but understandable. No, I'm talking about those days where you just throw them away on nothing. You know, you get to the end of the day and you ask yourself, you know, what the hell did I do today? Did I do anything of any value? Anything memorable today? Huh? I don't know about you, but I have lost so many days of my life like that, that you know, at the end of it, I'm just like, I didn't do anything. Yeah? And I could have done really excellent things. I could have done something really cool. It doesn't matter what. It could have been just something trivial or something fun, but it could have been memorable, something worthwhile, something that you say to yourself, yes, this day was well spent. Because you do spend your days, and it's a limited amount of days that you have. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, see, in my own case, I know that most of my days are behind me. The days ahead of me are fewer, and they are diminishing every day by one. Mm -hmm. And so as they go, I'm realizing, too, that my body is not as strong as it used to be. My mind is a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. I'm aging every day, and I'm realizing that I have to take better advantage of each day. When you're young, like you are, perhaps, you don't realize this. You have all of these days and you figure that they're eternal. I mean, you're like a man with a million bucks in his pocket. Hmm? When you're young, you have no idea how limited the resource of time really is. And you spend that resource, like a, a guy who's got a million bucks in his pocket just throws his money away. Hmm? He buys this, he buys that, he buys a Lamborghini, he buys some whatever, and then all of a sudden he realizes that he only has, you know, $10,000, which sounds like a lot, but really isn't. And all that other money is gone. And he's going to have to make do with just those $10,000. You see? That's how youth is with time. They spend it without thinking. And then as they get older and become an old man, then they realize how precious it is and how they frittered that time away. But if you make it a mental habit to wake up in the morning and think, consciously think, what is the coolest thing I could do today? What is the most excellent thing I could do? Whatsoever it is. It could be, you know, climbing Mount Everest, or it could be just, you know, going for a ride on a motorcycle, or, or just doing something that would make you happy, that breaks the 
boring, quotidian routine. You see? Just, just the one thing that would make that day special. You have to ask yourself that. You have to ask yourself what would make that day special and do it. Mm -hmm. More often than not, you'll find that bad decisions in your life are made thoughtlessly. Mm -hmm. You thoughtlessly do something as opposed to stopping and thinking, if, if only for like two minutes, about what you're going to do. And how you spend your day, the individual day that you have, it's the same thing. If you stop and consciously ask yourself, you know, it's nine in the morning, what could I do over the next 10 hours that would be really cool, that would be really interesting, that would really add a memory to my life that would be valuable? Hmm? If you stop and make that effort, think, be thoughtful as opposed to thoughtless about how you spend your days, your life would be richer. You'd discover that you're doing interesting things that add value to your life and not just frittering your days away on video games and jerking off. You know, I'm uh, playing squash just about every other day right now, and I'm hoping to up my ante to every day. Mm -hmm. And I need to do it. I need to do it very badly because, you know, physically I'm not in the best of shape. Mm -hmm. I'm in actually pretty poor shape in a lot of ways. But I'm trying very hard to get back into a semblance of good shape because there are fewer days ahead of me. And I want my body to be in, in fairly good condition as I approach old age. And I think back to when I was in my 20s and I didn't exercise and I smoked too much and I drank too much and I just didn't take care of myself. Mm -hmm. I'd pull all nighters and just get by on like four or five hours of sleep, but I wouldn't actually do anything in those waking hours. That's the thing that drives me a little bit nuts, you know. I, I'd be pulling these all-nighters or whatnot or, or doing this or that or the other, and, and it wasn't valuable, it wasn't interesting, it didn't add anything to my life, you know. It was just poor time management. And I so bitterly regret that now. Mm -hmm. I so bitterly regret the years and perhaps even decades that I completely mismanaged. Mm -hmm. I'm a man about to turn 53, and I just, I'd, I'd give anything to get that time back. I'd give any amount of money that I have, more than I have even. I'd go into debt to get some of that time back. But of course, time is the one thing that you can't get more of. Mm -hmm. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. So recognize that truth. Once your time is gone, it's gone forever. So use your time wisely. Get into the habit of every morning thinking of what is the most excellent thing you could do today. Write it down if you have to. Do this mental exercise and you'll quickly discover that your life becomes really fun.